Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do another lighting tutorial and specifically for this uh, video we are going to talk about uh, gobos. And I think it's pronounced gobos, not sure. But anyway, it's pretty cool. So what I did for the purpose of this video is I uh, quickly uh, set up a scene. Uh, so this is a room with a couple of uh, kids toys in it. And as you can see, the scene is poorly lit. And the reason for that is that we are going to add light and we're going to use a gobos, uh, a gobo or a gobos, whatever. Okay. So this is our scene. If we just uh, look at it, it's really simple. It's just a, a cube that I extruded, added some uh, texture to the floor and to the hardwood here and uh, put two objects in here. Now I have a few light sources. I got an uh, area light right there and one up there and one up there. Okay. But if I go to my bookmark, view bookmark new, and we render this out, like I just showed you, fairly poorly lit. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a spotlight. Okay. So we're going to go to create lights and spotlight. There we go. We're going to pull that back. We're going to hit T on our keyboard and that will allow us to point our light towards where it needs to go. Let's say something like this. Okay. We're going to hit seven on our keyboard. There we go. And with the seven hit on our keyboard, we can see where our light is going and aiming. Okay. So you can drag that out if you like, move it around and whatnot. Okay. So let's say this is pretty much our setup. All right. Now, what we're going to do with the gobos is we are going to project an image in front of our light source, which will create an effect on our floor. Okay. And in this case, what we're going to do is we are going to project a window. So instead of creating a window in this wall here and adding an external light source, we're just going to stick that in front of our light. Okay. So how do we do that? We set up our spotlight and we're going to go in our attribute editor to our spotlight. Okay. And here where you can change color, we're going to hit the checkered box. All right. And we're going to select file. Now, if you go to our folder, there are quite a few uh, files that you can get for free on the internet. And let's start off with this one right here. Okay. Now this, as you can see, is a window. And uh, what pretty much uh, this image file is, is it's a highly con contrasted black white image. So you could create your own image with your name, with a logo, with whatever you want, and you can use it for this purpose. Okay. We'll start off with this one and we're going to hit open. Okay. Now, in order for us to see that effect, we're going to need to render it out. And specifically in this case, there's a possibility that the image is upside down. And in that case, we'll have to rotate it. Okay. So first we're going to go to view bookmark new. That's my bookmark. And let's give this a try. Okay. We're just simply going to hit render in my software. Give that a sec. Okay. You can see that it's projected, but it's upside down like I kind of suspected. So we'll simply just take this guy and we're going to hit E and let's rotate that around. And let's just uh, check to see that we're at minus 90. We're going to go back to our bookmark and let's do that again. Okay. Now here it's right side up. Um, in this case, because this is a, an official round gobos file, you see this white line going on here. Uh, but like I said, you can create that uh, file any way you like. So we'll try another one. We're just going to go back to our spotlight shape. We're going to go back into color and we're going to change the file. And let's see what else did I got here. Um, this one, well, this one is actually round. Let's try this one. Okay. The tree. Make sure I'm still at my bookmark. And let's give that one a go. And it's possible that it's upside down and it is not. So cool. Okay. Now in this case, it's a, um, instead of black, white, it's white, black. Okay. If you want to create the effect of a shadow of a tree coming through the window, what you would do is you would create a black window frame. You would create a black tree and you would overlap these and you would stick that in front of your light source. 
So that would give you the illusion of light coming through the window and casting a shadow of the tree on the floor. Okay, one more. Let's see, what else do we got? Uh, we got this round window here. Let's see, what's that, what's that? Okay, we'll do the round window. There we go. And let's try that once again. Okay. And this is a neat way to create some very cool effects. Okay. So I encourage you to play around with that. If you've got any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.